Today's video is about a day in the life of a realtor. Now, what I wanted to make sure is that you understand kind of everything that happens in the background because a lot of the movies relations to real estate make it seem like everything we do is glamorous. And that could be true at times, but there's a lot of nitty and gritty and administrative stuff that realtors will work on as well. And today I'm gonna walk you through my day and kind of show you a behind the scenes view in order to allow you to understand better what we do. The flow today is gonna to be based on me not putting an offer in for a buyer and not having a listing. Okay, so it's a very simplified flow that I'm gonna walk you through, but know that this by no means is everything we do. And with that said, I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee delicious it's morning time and that's how we're going to get started in the morning so i typically wake up between 6 30 and 7 o'clock as soon as i wake up i take a shower i brew a cup of coffee i get dressed up i start my day and so the very first thing i do is i check my phone i check my email i check my social media accounts to see if any of you guys contacted me and typically you get a reply back as soon as i read the message unless i'm with a client or I'm showing a home. Once I'm done going through my social media and email accounts, I then will look in the MLS, which is a platform that realtors can tap into in order to see what's on the market, in order to put in their own listings. So the MLS is essentially a data powerhouse that feeds into websites such as Zillow. Most of the data from Zillow and Realtor is being pushed in from the MLS. So if you're looking at Zillow or realtor.com, you're looking at the same data that we're looking at, except that we have a much more detailed view that you're not able to see. So for example, we can see all the attachments that are associated to a listing. A listing agent typically will put in realtor remarks. You have the opportunity to get into those details prior to us showing you the home. Let's just assume I have a conversation with you. You call me in regards to a home. I will put in a search in the MLS based on the criteria that you've given me. So whatever criteria you give me, I place it here in the MLS so that I get notified as soon as a new listing's on the market. And because the listings are being placed into the MLS and then the data is being pushed into all these other real estate websites such as Zillow, we have access to the information far greater because in many cases, the information takes a while to refresh on Zillow.com, for example. I've seen one example where it took over an hour for Zillow to refresh. But I can tell you this, that the MLS, which we have access to, because it's where the data is originated from, it's the fastest way to look for anything new on the market. How do you tap into that information? Through a realtor. <laughs> Once I'm done with the MLS, depending on what day out of the week it is, I may have a team meeting. So I work in the Coal Banker Pama Ranch branch, and we have quite a few team meetings that happen throughout the, the week. I typically will join via Zoom. Sometimes I'll go in in person, depending quite honestly where the COVID rates are. But I would have to say that my broker, who's been in this business for, gosh, I would say over 20 years, is an amazing powerhouse of information. Not only does she share back what she's hearing from you know, an upper level real estate market analysis type of approach. We also open the floor to us sharing information and ultimately it comes back to understanding what is most beneficial for a buyer or seller. Today, as a matter of fact, we had a team meeting in the Oaks Club which is in Palma Ranch. We had the broker that talked to us about the market condition. And then we had a guest speaker, Katie Rossi, who's been in the industry. She has been named as one of the top salespeople in the world. She came in to provide us with some few words of wisdom. So once I'm done with team meetings, I typically spend the afternoon showing clients homes around Sarasota, Bradenton, Venice, Lakewood Ranch, and even St. Petersburg. If a client wants to see a home in the morning, I can do that too. I'll rearrange my schedule. If it's a new client that I haven't met yet, I typically like to meet them in the office for meet and greet, for any questions, and also to kind of talk about Sarasota and the different neighborhoods. If I don't have clients in town, I typically will go around from new development to new development, the ones that I know are opening up new lots or have new opportunities for a potential buyer to get the latest and greatest update from them and to kind of look around and see what has evolved right over time from a kind of visual standpoint. Monday doesn't stop there. If I'm home at say around five o'clock, I'll have dinner. I mean, I have to feed myself in order to have the energy to go on throughout the rest of the day or for the next day, right? We eat. 
Later on in the night, I typically like to do a lot of data crunching, so I'm extremely analytical. It's part of what I've done in my past is look at the analytics to ensure that the programs we put in place were actually workable. And the same holds true in the real estate market. Where do I get the information from? I get it from several different places. I look to see what's trending on Google under Florida real estate, all sorts of different keywords that we'll look in order to tap into the latest information that's coming from publicized sources. With Cold War Banker, we also have a dashboard that enables us to slice and dice data in order to see market share by condos, by single family homes, by regions. I mean, there's so many different ways I can look at the data. I think it's really important for you to understand how equipped Cool Banker agents are. Some of the smaller brokerages, yes, they have access to MLS data, but they won't have the tools that we have necessarily. They won't have necessarily the internal know-how that's being spread to agents via these formalized classes or sessions or industry leadership that is coming to share their recommendations with us, ultimately benefiting, again, you, the buyer or the seller. We also have another tool called Exclusive Look, and this is where Cold War Banker listing agents can place a new listing before it actually hits the MLS. So all agents in the region have access to pre-listings coming up which is very beneficial to buyers especially because if I understand what you're looking for, I will go and see if there's anything that matches your desires with what's coming up and is currently listed in kind of that pre-listing stage because there is an opportunity to strike a deal before it hits the MLS. And so this is a huge benefit of you working with a larger brokerage because we have so many agents, Cold War Banker agents, that are dominating the Sarasota County region especially most pre-listing opportunities will likely come from a Coldwell Banker agent. The smaller brokerages can't even compete with that. That kind of wraps up my evening. I do work a lot on social media. I do my own videos, right? So I film it, I narrate my videos. Most of it is just top of mind like this one, but there's a lot that is involved in putting a video together. I don't hire camera people. I don't hire editors. I do it all myself, partially because I wanna get an authentic message out to you. And that also means how I visually display the information. But separately from that, I love doing it. The video production, I will do that on the weekends or sometimes late, late into the night, because I believe it is so important to get the message out to you. Somewhere in my crazy day, I find some time to exercise, whether it's very, very early in the morning or maybe in the evening or maybe even during the day, depending on my workflow. That's really important to me. There's something that you can do for me. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Now, if you're looking for a realtor in Sarasota County, I would love to team up with you. Just call me or email me anytime. I truly enjoy hearing from all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you've watched until the very end, I always appreciate it when you do. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.